sugar which causes the disease called the sugar na mbobla ndio waita sukari <laughs> you may feel like you don't want to go back to your country for sure you want to go back home you just want to stay in the forest oh, welcome back to my youtube channel it's an excitement to always know that i have an opportunity to share with you something new so today we are talking about mabira forest it is the largest forest reserve in Uganda and here are some of the facts you have to know about it and some of the fun things you can do in Mabira Forest. Just to tell you a little bit about it. Mabira Forest is a natural evergreen rainforest in Uganda. It is the only rainforest in the central part of Uganda and it is just 54 kilometers from Kampala city center and 26 kilometers from Jinja the home of the source of the Nile. <laughs> the forest covers 306 square miles. 306 square miles. And contains 312 species of trees, 315 species of birds, 218 species of butterflies. Now this is way too many. 97 moth species if you don't know moths i think those are let's say those are butterflies that move at night 23 small mammal species i should also tell you that the the forest has waterfalls in it and you know the forest is so quiet you only hear the sound of the birds so the sound of the flowing water <laughs> adds rhythm to the songs of the birds and you feel like you don't want to leave the place. I should tell you, it is a place of tranquility, I must say, for sure. Try this out the next time you go there. Just sitting down and listening to the bird singing as the water is flowing, the whole experience is a beautiful experience. You must try this out, for sure. For bird lovers, like I told you, the forest has 315 species of birds. All this is a variety offered for you to watch, to enjoy, as in there is plenty that you can harness in only one visit. 315 species of birds waiting for you with a 68 kilometer well-developed trail walk. Another activity you can add on your to-do or your bucket list is a nature walk. Every time you're Marira or you visit Uganda or you, you are around there and you have more time, please take the nature walk. The walk rate is very clear, well developed, as in you can enjoy everything. Like I told you, you will have the opportunity to, to do birding and all that. Add nature walk to your list of to do. Maybe for those who want to specifically do a nature walk, I must tell you, it is very stress relieving. Very stress relieving. The air is so clean, as in... <laughs> I always tell myself, every time I stay away from the city, maybe like I find myself in a forest, because I love forests so much, you have escaped like tons of carbon, <laughs> carbon dioxide, tons of exhaust fumes. When you're living in the city, you take in too much. So please have a day off in Magra Forest. Take a nature walk and have what, get to know what it feels like to breathe in fresh air. <laughs> air in its freshness. Some of you, I'm sure you've grown to 30 years and you don't know what fresh air is like because you've, you've lived in Kampala or you've lived in cities all your life. Come to Magra Forest and experience. Please go to Magra Forest and experience what fresh air true fresh air is <laughs> you may feel like you don't want to go back to your country for sure you don't want to go back home you just want to stay in the forest <laughs> it's fun another interesting thing is the only zip line on top of a forest in east africa when i say east africa i mean kenya tanzania rwanda Southern Sudan and Uganda. The only zip line on top of a forest in East Africa is found in Uganda. And to be more specific, it is in Babira Forest. <laughs> I have had an experience to enjoy this. If you've not seen me, check my previous vlog. It's when I was 
in Mabira Forest doing a zip line, conquering all my fear of heights. Like I was, you start from 12 meters, then you end at 40 meters and then come down. It is so nice. It's a wonderful experience. And I'm sure I'm one who tells a friend to tell a friend. When you have something good, when you enjoy something good, it's always good to let your friends know about it. So please try this and what makes it so special it is the only zip line on top of a forest in east africa there are other zip lines for example at lake bonyoni there is a zip line across a lake but this which i'm yet to do by the way stay tuned on my channel i'll be zip lining across the deepest lake in africa that is lake bonyoni so go try a zip line on top of the forest it is the only one in east africa so if you are from wherever you are Come and enjoy this experience knowing that you're not going to find it anywhere else apart from Magra Forest. We were there with a the Niger boy and other content creators, BNT Lifeline, Mr. Musiguzi. We had so much fun. Please check out my previous vlog. Please do. My good people, I can't forget to bring to your attention that this forest also hosts picnics. People go in the middle of the forest, stress relief with us groups to have fun, enjoy birthdays, as in have picnics in the middle of the forest. And this is the best experience. I'm also yet to do this. I'm looking forward to, I'm planning a picnic still in Mabira Forest. Yes, and let me tell you, because I'm a forest lover, I will have to take you around all the forests in Uganda. We have the thickest forest in Uganda, which is windy, impenetrable forest. I'll have to visit it too. Um, a lot more. But if you in Uganda and you want to have a picnic in a very quiet, stress-free place, consider Marira Forest. Yes, because they even have lodges if you want to sleep. Like, it's a big experience. I don't want to have this fun alone. <laughs> Only people can go and check out what I'm telling you. Another thing, I told you there are 312 species of trees in Maria Forest and this provides like a vast variety of herbs. Some of you don't believe in herbs but still, I, we who grew up with grandmothers, you would get a cough, she gets some leaves and what mixes gives you and you okay. You get um, maybe a fever, she would get a few leaves here and there, gives you and then everything is okay. So the forest provides a lot of herbs to the locals. Now, Another thing, I don't like this much, the locals also visit the forest to collect firewood. But I don't think they just find fallen branches. They definitely cut out some trees to ensure the constant supply of firewood. But I, I am strongly against deforestation. I am strongly against cutting trees. There are some countries, in those so-called developed countries, who don't have anything green. We are lucky if we still have a forest, a standing forest, and very important and useful. I strongly don't support the act of cutting down trees. Actually, in 2007, if I'm not mistaken, it was 2007, the government of Uganda, the president, wanted to... suggested that they give a third of this forest to the sugar, to sugar cane growing. Thanks to Ugandans who came together as one people and protested this. In this protest, three people lost lives. As far as I can remember, three people were reported to have lost their lives in the struggle to preserve the environment, to preserve nature. And two, as in, if you have a heart of a nation, at least that is a good cause. Why would they just cut down trees, species that you will not find anywhere else, just to plant sugar? As in sugar, sugar canes for sugar, sugar which causes a disease called sugar. <laughs> By the way, it's funny in, in Uganda, diabetes is called sukari, sukari, which means sugar. So when I say they wanted to make sugar, which even bring diseases called sugar, oh my god. I am also strongly against the cutting down of trees. Okay? Maybe I'm going to, to be another Professor Madai of Kenya who fought so hard to preserve 
the environment and she also won a Nobel Prize for that. But it's not... Like, why would you cut down trees for sugar? Honest. Now I'm about to be meeting a really? A time is going to come, those species are not going to find any more else. Huh? I strongly recommend. I know some of you pass it by as you go to Ginger, as you go to Eastern Uganda. There is that forest that you always see on the Kampala Ginger Highway. It is Mabira Forest. If you have an hour or two, you can jump off from Lugazi. Ask the border guys, maybe if you want to go zip lining, you're going to Griffin's Forest Camp and those people will host you. It is a small fee. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I just want to help you guys have fun. It's a small fee of 60,000. 60,000 is uh, approximately 18 or 18 dollars, I think. Go have fun. It is six levels of a zip line and the highest is 40 meters high. Go have fun like I did. I don't want you to say, Arena is selfish. She goes, have fun alone. No, go have fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I leave with you a word. Please preserve nature. Let's protect forests. So I appreciate your time and the support you're showing me. Thank you so much for watching this video and please stay tuned to Erina TL because I have a lot more things to bring to you. I'll be touring Uganda and I'll be bringing to you all the things that are in my motherland. Not only Uganda, I'll also be touring Africa at large and showing you much more places, much more recommendations 